Good morning, Albemarle. I'm Samuel. Today is Friday, January 15th, and here are your morning announcements. Do you have jeans that you don't wear or don't fit you? Bring them to school and turn them into the SCA office in the cafeteria. Jeans will be donated to people experiencing homelessness. The drive will continue to February 24th. Want a chance to see your name in print? The Lantern Literary Art Magazine wants your original stories, poetry, scripts, essays, art, photography, ceramics, sheet music, songs, lyrics, and comics. Grab a form and submit your original work at the purple boxes in the library, main lobby, or room 205 by February 5th. See Mrs. Wood in room 205 for forms and more information. Varsity basketball action tonight. Girls at 6 and boys at 7.30 against Charlottesville. Here's a special Patriot Report brought to you by WPAT reporter Sierra. Welcome to the Patriot Report. I'm Sierra and I'm here with Coach Proudfoot and we're here to get some insight on the girls basketball season. What are your team's strengths and what can they build on? As far as strengths, um, we have heart, we have hustle, um, and we have ho some hope right now. You know, I have a great group of girls, and they are very athletic. We're just trying to put the basketball piece together. Um, as far as building, I want them to believe in themselves more than I believe in them. What are your team goals for this season? Number one is always to focus on character and academics, so I really want them to keep pushing in the classroom and improve as people. Um, number two would be every team that we hit second time around in the district, I want them to beat them because I want them to prove that that's what they deserve. Uh, we work hard every day, so I think after every practice they just feel that they have been through the grind, that they've pushed each other to the limits, um, and they have a lot of fun. There, there's some really amazing characteristics on this team. Um, they make each other laugh, they make me laugh, um, sometimes a little more than what we should, but um, definitely just building on what each one of them can bring to this team. We may or may not have played human hungry hungry hippo. Mm -hmm. That does help team chemistry as well. Can you talk about your team leaders? We have a young team. We have one senior. Um, Brooke's been with us since her freshman year and she's just an all-out verbal leader. She's um, kind of our spark plug and gets the team going in practices and games. Um, our juniors definitely take part, two captains and an AT. Um, all of our juniors who've been with me almost since their eighth grade year um, definitely have different leadership qualities that they bring to this team. And then our, our little ninth graders that we have on this varsity team this year, they also bring um, tidbits of leadership. So and look forward for everybody to bring something to the plate. You know, I really want everybody to understand that um, when you run into seasons like this where your entire schedule and your record does not reflect how hard these girls work and how good of athletes they truly are. Um, it's been a tough go around with our only two wins, but I guarantee you that they're ready to come back fighting after today's practice. I'm Sierra and we're here with the captains of the girls basketball team, Ayana, Brooke, and Ann. So can you tell us about team chemistry and how you guys are coming together as a group? Um, well, I mean, it's been kind of hard just because like the three of us have been playing together for a while, and but we haven't been playing with everyone else quite as long. Mm -hmm. um, but we have like really good moments, like against CHS, we had this really good quarter where we, I think they scored like two and we had like ten. But yeah, it's kind of coming together in little bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. And you can you can see it on the court, like when we're pa when we're passing to each other, like we're confident in everyone and we trust everyone on the team. And yeah, we, it's been fun. We've had a lot of team building activities, which has helped our performance on the court. So what are your guys' goals for the season, both individual and um, One of our team goals is that we want to win conference again because we won it the past two years. So a three-peat would be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, for me as a senior, I think an individual goal for me is just to make everyone else better this year just because after this year I'm done. I'm not playing basketball ever again. So I think making this time last and trying to make my teammates better for next year. Another team goal for us would probably be coming back in the Je Jefferson District to beat everyone the second round because everyone's beatable. <laughs> That's all for now. Have a great day.